Hello everyone, it's Anne here from Anne Makes Welcome. Uh, if you're new here, thanks for stopping by and I hope you will subscribe just by clicking on the Anne Makes at the bottom of the screen there uh, or subscribing below. And uh, if you do that, you will be alerted every time I post a new video, whether it's one of my dollar store hauls, my art store hauls, any haul that I do, whether it's a product review, a DIY, a how-to, uh, yeah, so you'll know everything that I do. I love crafts and art and I love shopping for supplies. <laughs> Maybe sometimes a little too much. So today I have a Dollar Tree haul to share with you and in my Dollar Tree haul I did find some uh, crafting goodies of course but I also bought a lot of stuff for my home and my family. So if you're interested in seeing that stay tuned that's coming right up. So uh, the first thing I'm going to show you it's, it's going to be random because I didn't go through the bags and I know that the cashier <laughs> I uh, was in a bit of a hurry. There were a lot of people, so she just kind of threw stuff into the two bags I brought in. So one of the things I picked up, and this is going to stay here in my studio, is a paddle cutting board by Cooking Concepts. Again, I did I say this is a Dollar Tree haul, Dollar Tree in Canada. Uh, Dollar Tree in Canada charge us $1.25 per item. We have mostly the same items as our US friends, but we do have some differences. And so this, uh, yeah, just a little practical chopping board. Sometimes I, in my studio, I have to cut something and I really have to like whack it. And I would prefer not to destroy my self-healing mats. So uh, at least this will be just what I need and sometimes I just need a small board to cut something on so that will do the job. Now I said this was going to be really random and it is. I also picked up some uh, of these instant noodles. My son just loves to snack on these and they had a new flavor at our Dollar Tree. We already know about this flavor but it was new at our store. So I got him the spicy chicken and I did get him Oriental as well. So those are three for a dollar twenty-five. And I picked up, oh, they had some more of this uh, Daily Defense, Color Defense, three minute leave in treatment for hair uh, with pomegranate and vitamin E. This stuff smells wonderful. I got a few more jars of these because the price is, oh my God, uh, so good uh, compared to a big other stores, other department stores, other uh, drug stores. The price is just awesome. I picked up a few things uh, from the Canada theme section for a friend. So I got some more of the black luggage tags. I hauled some of these uh, last time I went to Dollar Tree. And also this one this time, the red and white one. And I did get some socks, some nice gray socks with white polka dots and the red maple leaf. So that is for a friend. And I also picked up some napkins that say Canada. There may have been another Canada item, but I don't see it right now. So uh, in the kitchen uh, section, I picked up a few more of these Terry dishcloths for my kitchen. I have to go through the drawer and uh, demote the dish towels. <laughs> I do that about every season. I'm very particular. And there's a lot that got stained and yeah, I'm done. They're not for my kitchen anymore. They're going in the garage. We always need rags to clean up stuff. So they're go those ones are being demoted to the garage rag box. And I just picked up one of these kind of orange, There, it is orange, right? Orange uh, kitchen towel. I don't like using these in the kitchen, but my husband loves using these for golf. So I bought this for him. And I used an entire tube of this stuff not too long ago to repair something and it worked very, very well. I repaired it, it stuck so well to what I was fixing 
that I can't take it apart now. And I need to take it apart because I glued it on the wrong way. But just to tell you, this stuff works. <laughs> it's the Fix All Cement. It's a 30 milliliter tube. So I got another tube to stick something else again. I got a package of hurdles. Ra 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 for me, me, me. I love these things. No wonder I'm only getting fatter. I'm not getting skinnier. Ugh. More to love. I picked up a couple of these black locker type bins. I want to put these in the garage. So <laughs> help organize some of my husband's um, golf stuff. Uh, you know, I just don't think that plastic grocery bags that have holes are exactly a good container for golf balls. So I just thought I, I would get some bins like that to put his golf balls and stuff in the garage. I got some more of these feather pens. They're really cute. These are the colors that are available at, the, at my stores. So they're kind of silver plastic. Very cute. Love pens. You know me. More nibs. Can't go to Dollar Tree without buying nibs. They had new mascaras. They've been getting a lot of beauty products uh, every week. And this is the Mariposa. This one is waterproof and it is ultimate length. I'm assuming it's in black. It does not say so, but that's what I'm assuming. And this one is also waterproof, but I think it's nourishing formula or something like that so I got this one so we'll see how I like those and speaking of buying stuff for my my husband uh, they had these socks these dress socks these are Stephen Land uh, cotton socks so I thought they were a nice quality considering it was Dollar Tree I don't usually buy the other dress socks they have at Dollar Tree, they're really not good quality, but these seem like to be a brand name. So, so I'll give these a try for Dollar Twenty-Five, and they're they're cute. And my husband likes, you know, just classic colors, so I got him this one in the plaid. And this is probably going to be too too patterny for him. I don't know. Um, I got him this one. It's a black with a gray design. And this one too. So I don't know if he'll like these. I won't tell him I got him a Dollar Tree. Maybe he will like them. <laughs> but he, he wears a lot of dress socks and he wears those every day for work. Um, in the floral section, they had received more of the little dragonfly decorations so i stocked up because a few months ago they had when they re received the first batch um a customer who was ahead of me she had bought everything that was there uh, or just about so uh i it was my turn to stock up so i got two of each two of the fuchsia two of this purple two of the green dragonflies, and two of the blue. And I have to say, I have a lot of dragonflies outside my studio here, and seriously, I get a lot that are big like this. And I get a lot of the green and the blue, but they're not blue, all, all blue like this. They are black with some blue and black with some green. They have less glitter, the ones in, in nature. <laughs> I picked up a hand mirror, so I don't want to blind you here. And it comes with a bonus uh, little purse size mirror. So I got that. And, oh, last time I was at Dollar Tree, I had gotten the monthly planner. And uh, this week they had gotten uh, a or they had opened the box with the monthly planners. So I got, no, sorry, with the, yeah, I did get a monthly planner, but it's 
little different from this one. This one is smaller and it has a lot of pages to keep track of expenses and um, there's a very large section to list contact numbers and information. So it's a little different and it's um, more portable size. And I also got the weekly planner. Again, this is much smaller size. This is great to take along with me every day. And I have room to write more for every single day versus the, this is a really small monthly planner. Um, there's a lot less room in the monthly planner to write out the things that I have to do in one day, especially on a really busy day. I may want to write things in here and take it with me if I'm, especially when I'm out and about. So, uh, I picked up a lot of cute nail stickers just because I, I use nail stickers in my planner because of the size. And I also got some of these for somebody. Uh, I got some of these Canada style Glamour Glints with the little maple leaves. So if somebody, uh, this is for somebody I know, if they want them, they'll have them. And then I also got um, <coughs> some of these little Sassy and Chic nail stickers. Now sure, they're great on nails and I might, I might do that a few times. But the stickers I don't use for my fingernails, I like to use, like I said before, in my planner because they're so tiny. And they stick to paper, so why not? Uh, a while I was in the aisle and I picked up another tube of that glue that works, that cement glue that works really well. I picked up a little package of the small tubes of super glue. Very, very practical to have these. And I swear, I open one tube to use it once, and by the time I need to glue something else, the tube's dried up, so I love these little, little tubes. It's perfect. Oh, here's the other thing from Canada that I bought for someone, the Jewel stickers. Got that. And then, Oh, these are practical in so many places. They have these mini lint rollers. They're really small lint rollers. There's two pieces in here. They have 30 sheets each. They, you know, I know you don't get as much for your money as the bigger roll, but these are really practical to put in a suitcase, uh, a briefcase, in the glove compartment of the car. They are great to keep with close to my Cricut machine. Um, yeah, so they're just really handy, portable for quick messes to pick up. And uh, that's why I got them. And I just thought the covers were really pretty. Oh, also in the kitchen section, I got a little towel. I thought this was really cute. It says, enjoy every moment and I love that it's mostly gray which is good in my house so got that and then I got the oven mitt that says enjoy every moment and they're all just like right-handed mittens so it's kind of a bummer and then for the other hand even though it's a right hand I got this one that says live every moment Laugh every day, love with all your heart. So I, I, it's one of my favorite quotes. So I got that. And these I, I think are really good colors for the kitchen. So that's why I chose that. Now this I also got in the, well the dishes, the dishware section. It is a white plate. It is uh, squarish without being totally square. And I chose this one because it didn't have um, a definite demarcation in the center. I want to use this as a palette. I'm going to try this. I'm going to try just one plate first to see how I like working with this one as a paint palette because I would like to have some real porcelain palettes for painting and inks, but uh, I'm not finding. 
something in a decent price range. So I thought for buck twenty-five, I will use a plain plate and I may do something to make some areas in it. So that will be a trial thing. I have another bag. And in this other bag, I have some scarves. I picked up two of these very thin, lightweight, yet colorful, pretty scarves. This one is very summery. And then this one is some darker, richer colors. That's really pretty. Got that. Uh, I picked up this one gift bag, it was the only one, but I had to get it because someone I know uh, just loves anything Paris, and uh, yeah, I, I like it too, so um, yeah. This might be t turned into a DIY if it doesn't turn into a gift bag. And the Eiffel Tower is all in glitter, you, don't, you can't see that, and so is Paris. There's glitter on the roses. On this side, there's lots of gl glitter on the roses, the Eiffel Tower, and on the word Paris. And the other side is the same image without glitter. And the sides just continues with more roses. So it's just really, really pretty gift bag. I'm on a gift bag craze lately. Uh, a lot of food items. I've never tried these, but I thought uh, we might like to try these in the morning. They are Dandy Packs Granola Honey Nuts, and uh, this one is Cashew Cranberries. So they're uh, like a granola or cereal. I thought these make great snacks or breakfast foods too. So they seem quite, they seem pretty healthy. So. Not too high in calories, low in sodium. Oh, well, I'm going to give those a try. I like the uh, Joseph's No Added Sugar Cookies. I've been eating these, and I really like them. I'm the only one who likes them, though, but that's okay. And they also have the pecan shortbread, and I really like the pecan shortbread ones. So that's one of those. And for me as well, I got these crackers. The brown rice crackers, multigrain, they're gluten-free, which is great for someone who's concerned about that. I'm, I don't have a concern about gluten, but I, my concern is the sodium content, and they're very low in sodium, so uh, these are, are great for me. And, oh, in the school supplies, uh, they had put more school supplies out this week or taken them out of the box from last week. And they had this eight pack of highlighters. And I picked this up because of the variety of colors that it has. And I like to use these when I color. So in coloring books, so that's why I got these. You can cover a lot and it's, it's good for uh, color layering when you're using, uh, when you're coloring with colored pencils or gel pens. Uh, I also packed up these highlighters because there was a green one and I wanted a green highlighter. Uh, this is the Ink Couture brand. And the green one even has cactus on it. It's really cute. And that's the print. They also have pencils like this and uh, pens and all that. I, I think this might be for this year, a new print and packaging that they have for this year. Oh, I, I did get some more Vortman cookies. Uh, this time they had banana, so I thought my, my guys might like to try out this one. And I picked up a wall decor uh, because I really like the flamingo on it, and I like how it's subtle. So, I thought this might be cute wall art for uh, a bathroom that we have. And I got this package of little note cards because, come on, look at this guy. He's so cute. Little, little kitty cat. And this is eight note cards with envelopes, right? Yeah. So you get eight note cards. The kitty. And uh, lastly, what I have to show you is books. I found some 
books that uh, appealed to me. This one is called The Union Quilters. Uh, so it's uh, a book from the Elm Creek Quilt series. Uh, of books. I read some books from that series. And of course it takes place all in the um, during the Civil War and it is about quilting guilds and uh, you know, it's, it's very, it's a, I like it. I like it. It's a mix of history, a mix of uh, sewing and crafting and women. <laughs> so it's just, you know, up my alley. So I got that. I thought that might be a fun read if I ever have time to read it. And then I saw this one called Maeve Binchy Maeve's Times in her own words. And, um, I've read a lot of her books, so I was interested in, in this book because it's got her name on it, and um, yeah, I guess. Oh, it's Selected Writings from the Irish Times, Selected Writings from the author of Maeve. Uh, Vinci. So, and the other book I picked up, I thought was a good find, and I could have used this many years ago. Uh, but because I love gardening, I thought I, I would still enjoy it. It's the Small Budget Gardener. It has all the dirt on saving money in your garden, and so for those of us who are gardeners, yeah. We can use every trick in the book. And I know I, I read a lot of books on gardening and did a lot of things low cost uh, for getting beautiful gardens. And it's true, you don't have to spend a lot of money to garden, uh, but uh, it's like crafting. You end up spending a lot of money anyway if you're really an avid gardener. <laughs> so that's it for my uh, Dollar Tree haul. I tried to make it as quick as possible. So uh, I have a lot of videos in the works. I have a lot of projects coming on. I've got lots of assignments. I do have something with Cricut happening. I will have something with Dollar Tree happening too. And I will have another announcement to make about uh, S September and having something to do with uh, my making an appearance in uh, Woodstock, in Bethel Woods, uh, September 29th and 30th. Well, there we go. There's the announcement. Uh, September 29th and 30th, I will be attending In the Making. So that is the big, big crafting event open to the public, open all for consumers, all about you guys, not about people in the trade. It's about the consumers. And there's going to be live music. And it's going to be held where Woodstock was. And I'm going to be on stage singing. No, no don't worry. I won't be. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. So I'll try to give you more information about, about that later on. And I can uh, get you a coupon code if you're interested in attending in the making. It will be in Bethel Woods, New York, which is in upstate New York. Uh, city and uh, uh, upstate New York and uh, it's uh, about a six-hour drive for me so I will be driving down there to go check it out and hopefully see some of my viewers and yeah that's it uh, so until next time have a great summer everyone enjoy yourselves be careful thank you so much for watching and I would appreciate a thumbs up a like comment and share Bye for now.